Hello and welcome back to our FCS Dynasty in NCAA Football 2006. Tonight we got another big time matchup. Subscriber versus subscriber schools as the number 11 ranked Northern Colorado Bears travel to Davis, California to take on the 18th ranked UC Davis Aggies. Bears are 3-0 on the season and they are just riding a four game winning streak dating back to last season. And UC Davis 1-1 one on the season. Suffered a tough defeat. Let's see who they lost to. One second. They lost to Alabama A&M in week two. Um, sophomore, Richard sophomore transfer quarterback J.J. Barber transferred over from Savannah State after his freshman season. And he was a starter for the Bulldogs. And he just took it to the Aggies defense. They had no answer for him at all passing running they just could not stop him at all and it was very sad and I I, I cry at night because of it but anyways <laughs> don't forget to slap the like button guys subscribe if you're new and join our discord community today to get your college football career started in this year's series well, here is the matchup eighth in points per game for Northern Colorado 11th for UC Davis the number 20 offense versus the number three offense and UC Davis, their defense struggling a little bit so far this season. 38th in the country, usually a top 20 defense. And 13th ranked defense for the Bears. That is definitely something new as their defense is much improved from the past two seasons. Now, what was I about to check? Oh, yeah. Let's check out North uh, Northern Colorado. They beat Boise State. They finally got over the Bronco hump, 31-30. to Then they beat Akron. Then they beat UNLV. Absolutely demolished them leading up to this game and this is gonna be a good one folks let me just make sure I have the correct playbook for the Aggies real quick cuz you know I, I can't remember everything no you're probably in the chat right tell me what your playbook is oh it's Virginia Tech never mind let's do this Uh oh another suspension Gavin Brady, fullback for Northern Colorado. Oh, my goodness. He broke team rules. What did he do? Athletic director thinks we need to suspend Brady for conduct detrimental to the team. Maybe that will wake him up. And look at the NCAA team interest. So we're going to have to suspend him for quite a bit here. Oh, my goodness. That's, that's going to have to be like five games. Four games. We'll go four. Four games for Gavin Brady. Feels bad, but, you know, stop breaking the rules. All right, let's get it. I'm knocking everything over. I'm scaring my cats. Everybody run. All right, who we got in the chat? Let me check it out. Do, 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 do. Noah in the chat. What's going on? Good old Jet Christie, head coach for the UC Davis Aggies. Tay Ray in the chat. Chaos Driven, my brother. Marvin Joseph, Jay Washington, Regear Productions. Tyler Rocky, Joshua Williams. What's going on, brother? Who else we got? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm assuming that's Topsy. Ron Kemp in the chat. What is up, everybody? Oh, baby. Another big time matchup here in the Pac 10. Four games, that's the third of the season. Well, he should stop breaking the rules. Johnny Ligurski on to kick it deep to the Aggies of UC Davis. And that is not a good start for the sophomore kicker. Oh, baby. Let's take a look at the UC Davis offense led by junior quarterback Owen Black, number 18. He is backed up by Ashley Jackson. She is number two. And in the backfield, we got Lito Lozano, Tyreek Taylor, and Wyatt Geddes for the Aggies. Jaquan Brown and Sam Gatlin and Travis Owens at receiver and Nicholas Warner at tight end. Here's Tyreek Taylor up the gut all the way inside Bear territory to start this game off with some fireworks. And the Bears defense. Jack Barry has tacked their tracks. He is actually out for five weeks, so we will not see him today. Angel Hernandez is the number one corner for Northern Colorado in this ball game. And the rest of the secondary is Deacon Cooper at free safety and Bully Cooper at strong safety. Owen Black in the I formation. And he's going to hand it off. Lito Lozano still up, and he'll pick up a couple yards for the Aggies. Owen Black in the chat. What's going on, QB1? How you doing? The Demon in the chat.
Again, don't forget to slap the like button, guys. Slap it good. Lozano, taken down by Angel Hernandez. Makes it a third down and four for the Aggies offense. High formation set. Tyreek Taylor is the halfback. And they're going to hand it off to the Freak. And he's going to break a tackle and get the first down for UC Davis. He's so strong. Also, guys, let me know how the sound quality is right now. Formation players Tyreek Taylor at the fullback spot. And he'll pick up maybe four yards. Taylor nearing 2,000 rushing yards for his career. Came into the game with 1,850 to go along with 23 touchdowns on the ground and two receiving touchdowns as well. Single back set, Wyatt Geddes. In at halfback, he's got almost 600 rushing yards in his career, and he's got it right here as Angel Hernandez whiffs on the tackle attempt. Wyatt Geddes, the sophomore halfback, over 600 yards for his career now. He's got six touchdowns on the ground and one receiving as well. Red zone scoring for the Aggies is a struggle this season, 114th in the land. But here is Tyreek Taylor breaking two tackles, and that was a tough two-yard gain as Deacon Cooper brings him down. I sound great. Thank you, Noah. I love you too. Seven plate, 49 yard drive so far. Two minutes off the clock. Owen Black under center. And that's play action. Defense falls for it. Black looking to throw. Nice deflection. And that was intended for Jaquan Brown. Brown has been a touchdown machine in his career. 50 catches. 19 touchdowns for Jaquan Brown. M. Chiz in the chat. What's going on? Bang, bang. Yes, sir. Play action. Black to the end zone. And it's picked off. Oh, the red zone woes continue for the Aggies. Fellows gets his second pick of the season. He had one last week against UNLV. That was um, Deacon Cooper, I believe, or Bully Cooper, rather. That had the deflection. And shout out to Joshua Williams for the super chat. Appreciate you, buddy. You're the best. First down and 10 for the Bears. Aiden Davis in at quarterback. They're going to go option. And he's going to pick up a few yards. Let's take a look at the Northern Colorado Bear offense. Led by Aiden Davis. His first career start was in week one. He is backed up by Darrell Statz. And the stable of halfbacks is Eric Tavares, Darius Mitchell, Double Stack Rivers, Jada Streets, Tyler Rocky, and at fullback, Gavin Brady, who is suspended for a third of the season. Here's a direct snap. Jada Streets, and he is stuffed by Zachary Hyde. Rest of the offense for the Bears, Howard Bresnagale at wide receiver. He has not been much of a factor in his career. Just 30 catches for 668 yards and eight touchdowns in over two seasons played. Darren Van Barron is the other wide receiver, true freshman. He has definitely made an impact, but the Bears are going to be stuffed here as they go for a draw play to Jada Streets. That went nowhere. Fourth down and nine. Aggies will get the football back, but will their offense be able to do anything with it? Rest of the offense before, you know, they clone it away. Smokey Callahan at tight end and three All-Americans on the offensive front. Mike Heath, Will Jefferson, and Sebastian Hernandez, who has only allowed one sack his entire career. First and 10 from the 31 yard line now. Oh, that's you, Jada. What's going on, man? And here is Tyreek Taylor. And he's dragged down. That was Angel Hernandez getting plowed over, but at least he brought him to the ground. That was a pickup of two for Tyreek the Freak. Down and eight, and there's Tyreek again. Looks like they're gonna go ground heavy here today. Just a pickup of one for Tyreek Taylor. Up 
to 17 viewers now on the stream. You guys are the greatest, but we only got seven likes. What's going on here? Owen Black looking to throw. Breaks the sack attempt. Throws it deep, and it is completed to the freshman tight end, Nicholas Warner. Let's go. Big time play for the freshman tight end. Just his fourth catch on the season so far in his third game played. And every single catch that he has so far has been for a first down. Craniac Gaming in the chat. What's going on, man? Hope you're doing well, my friend. Single back set. Two tight ends for the Aggies. Jaquan Brown, number one to the right of the screen. And Tyree Taylor is going to pick up another yard, maybe two, on the play. Second down and eight. Shotgun set. Tyree Taylor in the backfield with Black. And Lito Lozano is there as well. And they're going to hand it off to Lito. And Lito just plows through a couple guys and picks up five more yards on the ground. Recip 23 in the chat. Dirty Creek Sports. What's going on, brother? What app do I use to live stream? OBS, my friend. OBS. Here is Tyree Taylor cutting back to the left side. He gets leveled, though. My goodness, what a hit by Cooper. That'll bring up fourth down and two, and they are going to go for it. Number one in the nation on fourth down attempts, 100% on the season. Tyree Taylor is in the zone, and they get the first down because of an offsides penalty. My goodness gracious. So that was a, a freebie right there for the Aggies, and their drive will continue at the 29-yard line of Northern Colorado. Are you still leading the Heisman? Yes, sir. It's Tyreek Taylor, stiff arm, hurdles. Tyreek Taylor with an exciting six-yard carry. He's got 40 on the game already on nine attempts. He needs 10 more yards for 1,900 for his career. Seven play, 46-yard drive. Last time they were down this close to the end zone, they threw a pick. And that's going to end the first quarter. We have no score here in Davis, California, as the 18th-ranked Aggies look to upset the Northern Colorado Bears. Never thought I'd say that in my life. All right, second down and four. Black under center. Two tight ends. They're going to hand this off to Wyatt Geddes on the counter. He's got the first down as Bully Cooper brings him down. A couple nice runs for him so far in the ball game. Now they're in the red zone. Can they capitalize? Can they get some points? They are <laughs> just 50% on the season in the red zone. That is definitely something they have to improve on going forward in the season. Bully Cooper is in the zone at the top of the screen at safety. And uh-oh, there he goes, trying to force the fumble. And luckily it was held on to. That is very dangerous. Cyrus Rivers in the chat. What's going on, man? What game capture software do I use? I have the Elgato HD60S. As Owen Black goes read option. And Owen Black gets the first down for the Aggies. What a run by the junior quarterback. Oh my goodness, they didn't give that to him. He fell way over the line. Wow. Unreal. I can't believe they didn't give him the first down. Just one yard of offense so far from Northern Colorado. Aggies have just dominated time of possession. This drive is over three and a half minutes long as Tyreek Taylor falls forward. And he got the first down for the Aggies. First and goal from the eight upcoming. You wonder what happened to the Cal Poly offense this season? You know, I wonder that myself. High formation set, Lozano is the halfback, and Black is going to be stuffed. That play was dead from the start. Hope you guys are having a wonderful Thursday night. Goal line set for the Aggies, and they're going to hand it off to Lito Lozano, and Lozano's going to walk in for the easiest touchdown of his life. 11-yard touchdown run. 
And the Aggies strike first. That is Lozano's 21st touchdown run of his career. He's number three in Aggie history for rushing touchdowns. Trivia question, can you guys guess who is number one in Aggie history for touchdown runs? Extra point is up and good. 13 plays, 69 yards, 4-10 off the clock. That's almost an entire quarter. My goodness. That is how you beat an explosive Northern Colorado team. Just keep their offense off the field. Lito Lozano, more like Lito Logano. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Show yourself out, Noah. <laughs> All right, back deep to return for the Bears is Darius Mitchell and Howard Bresnagel. Mitchell with two kick returns for touchdowns in his career, one for Bresnagel. And here is Mitchell, and Zeus Williams brings him down at the 17-yard line. Williams came into this game with 60 tackles for his career. And after this play, we're going to take a look at the UC Davis Aggie defense, which we have not yet because, I mean, their offense has been on the field the entire game. Shotgun set for Aiden Davis. Four receivers set. They're going to hand it off, and that goes nowhere. The defense for the Aggies, led by the defensive front, Andrew Jackson and Demarcus Webb at defensive end. Caleb Chubb, the big mountain of a man at defensive tackle. Linebackers Elijah Christian, Zachary Hyde, and Zeus Williams. We'll go over the secondary here. In a moment. Second down and 12 for Davis. Pressured. He is lit up by Elijah Christian on the sack. And that is going to be Christian's seventh sack of his career. My goodness gracious. Rest of the defense in the secondary. Zach Pryor and RJ Simons on the opposite sides at corner. Trey Henry the third at free safety. Everett Garrison and Jason Hunsberger at strong safety. We'll see both of those guys get playing time here. Third down and 18 for the Bears. They have negative yards of offense so far in the game. Just three and a half minutes left in the first half. Davis stepping up, throws it deep down the right side, and it's picked off. And that is Zachary Pryor, the defensive captain, getting the interception. That's his third of his career. Oh, my goodness. Unbelievable. Aggies just absolutely dominating so far. At least we finally got to go over the Aggie defense. <laughs> Took a quarter and a half, but we got there. Owen Black in the shotgun. Tyreek Taylor to his right or your left on the screen. You know what I'm saying. Black hands it off, and Tyree Taylor is going to get no gain on the play. It's a bad start. Yeah, just a little bit. Northern Colorado is struggling, to say the least. They haven't really been on offense. They've only had two drives. Two tight ends set for Black. Hand this off again. Tyreek Taylor breaks the tackle and falls forward. Picks up about six or seven yards. All right, they're down in three. Does anybody have an answer to my trivia question? Who leads the Aggies in all-time rushing touchdowns? Three of five on third downs. Definitely manageable here in the I formation set. Two tight ends to the right. And they're going to go triple option. And here's Owen Black with a fake pitch. Then he pitches it anyway. And Lino Lozano with a back juke gets the first down inside the 40. What a run. My goodness. I'm surprised Black got that pitch out there. Negative seven yards of offense for Northern Colorado. They've had six plays on the offensive side of the football. Tyree Taylor in the zone, and they're going to fake it to him. Black takes off. Look out. Owen Black is all the way inside the 20, but he fumbles it. Bully Cooper forced it 
and it is recovered by the defense. There's a flag as well. This play is just one big mess. Travis Owens with the clipping. That'll be declined. And the Bears will take over. Oh my goodness, what a play from Bully Cooper. Got up off the ground to force that fumble. Man, that is Owen Black's 12th career fumble. Oh my goodness. And that is going to count as a turnover in the red zone again, I believe. So there'll be nine attempts and just four touchdowns? Or is it ten attempts and five touchdowns? I can't remember anymore. We'll see next time they get there. High formation set for the Bears. And here's Double Stack Rivers getting the carry. He'll pick up five yards. Not a bad run for the sophomore. He's nearing 600 yards for his career as well. But going back to Bully Cooper, that was his 14th career forced fumble, guys. Yes, Owen Black, you are correct, sir. 35 career rushing touchdowns. You are number one in Aggie history. And there is a first down. Oh, my goodness. That was the fullback. The backup fullback, that is. Less than two minutes left. Bears need something to go their way here on this drive. Davis. Over the middle in, oh my goodness, there was five defenders there. That was intended for Eric Tavares. Made the number switch to 83 this season. He's playing some halfback, some tight end, some receiver. He's all over the place for this Bears offense. And Davis in the shotgun. Five wide receivers. Quick pass, right side, that's caught. Jada Streets at the 30-yard line, just a pickup of two. Someone needs to score. Thank you, Marvin. Thank you for that. <laughs> Third down and eight. Darrell Stats in at quarterback, and he can run that football, but he gets no blocking, and he's going to lose five or six yards. Oh, my goodness. That was Demarcus Webb on the stop. His 22nd career tackle for a loss. And the Bears are going to have to punt it away. Another interesting stat. Darrell Stats is the all-time leader in rushing touchdowns for the Bears. So both quarterbacks tonight, even though Stats is a backup, lead their team in career rushing touchdowns. And that's a wobbly punt from Johnny Ligurski. It's fair caught at the 21-yard line by Jaquan Brown. That uh, Aggie offense can do. They've had some very long, methodical drives. I don't know if their offense is really built for quick scores, but let's see what they got. And there's another catch and first down for, let's see, that's uh, McKinley, the number two tight down on the roster. Aggies call a timeout, and they're at their own 35 yard line. Actually, they don't call a timeout. I thought they did. Feels bad. Black under center. White Geddes in at halfback. Black to throw, quick pass, and a nice diving reception by Sam Gatlin. Career reception leader for the Aggies, the offensive captain. 64th catch of his career, over 1,400 yards now, and seven touchdowns. 53 seconds left. Black finds his man, that's Travis Owens. And, no, oh, is that Travis Owens? I can't even tell. My goodness. 4-6 on third downs. This is a short yard to gain here. And Black pressured and barely gets that pass off. It hits the grass. So the Bears are going to get the ball back again with a little bit of time to work with here in the first half. And they're definitely going to punt the football away here. The crowd wants them to go for it. But head coach Jet Christie playing a little conservative here. They have the lead. No chance, or no no sense in risking it. And there's a fair catch. And that is going to go into the end zone for a touchback. Bears have to go 80 yards here with 29 seconds left. And Aiden Davis definitely has the arm for some deep passes here. Darren Van Barron has been pretty good this season so far in his freshman season. 
10 catches, 385 yards, five touchdowns. So he's a big, deep threat, way downfield. Just chuck and pray. That's all you got to do. And it looks like they're going to hear Caleb Chubb in the zone at defensive tackle. Look out for him. And he's just blowing by the right guard. And there's a reception. Eric Tavares gets the first down. And the Bears will call a timeout. Tavares with his 16th career reception. He's also got two touchdown receptions. And that was one of the best plays of the day so far for the Bears. Just 12 plays on offense. Andrew Jackson and Caleb Chubb in the zone on the defensive line. Look out. And Davis is picked off. Zach Pryor's got another one inside the 30. Oh, my goodness. Oh, <laughs> wow. Pryor came into this game with just two career picks. He has doubled that tonight. Goodness gracious. And the Aggies are in business at the 26. What in tarnation was that throw? Black under center, two tight ends set. And he'll look to throw it. Black all day, he's gonna be sacked. Oh my goodness. Barrett Fuller, non-subscriber player for the Bears, has injured his chest on the play. I believe that's a freshman linebacker. He is available for customization in week eight. All you gotta do is join our Discord community today to get your college football career started. And they're letting this clock run out. What is this offense right now? What is this? And now they call a timeout. All right, so they're going to attempt a 50-yard field goal, I'm assuming. And I, I don't know if he's got the leg for it, but we'll see. Ashley Jackson, she is on to hold for the kicker. Green. And the field goal is up. And it is good. Wow. That was a no-doubter. 10 to nothing. With one second left here in the first half. He could have made that from 60. You gotta be kidding me. Hey, seriously, he could have made that from 60 easily. Oh my goodness. That was unreal. <laughs> I'm in shock right now. He could have made that from 60 plus. Why didn't you throw it away, Owen? I don't know, but it's not like it mattered because you guys still got points on the board. On for the return, and Mitchell's going to take it out, and he gets lit up at the 15 yard line. That's the end of the first half. 10 0. Aggies on top of the Northern Colorado Bears. Looking for that upset. 18th ranked Aggies versus the number 11 Northern Colorado Bears. Our next game, let's see, we'll be out tomorrow. It'll be a day game. It's going to be Wofford at number 14 North Dakota State. Should be a fun game. See how it goes. I don't have to work tomorrow morning, so I'm looking to get the rest of week five done. So stay tuned for that. Keep your eyes peeled for those games. And here is the kickoff. Jay Washington, please let me know what the point spread is for this ball game, sir. I appreciate you. Watch this game turn into something gross like last night's game. Oh, my goodness. You know, it could. It really could. Northern Colorado, just 13 yards of offense, two turnovers. Aggies with two turnovers as well. But they're dominating time of possession. And Tyler Rocky is going to be dropped for a loss by Caleb Chubb. And here's a crazy stat for you guys. Entering this game, Caleb Chubb, the star defensive tackle for UC Davis, had 83 career tackles. I want, I want some guesses in the chat. How many of those are for a loss out of 83? Throw some numbers in the chat. Davis, quarterback draw. He was dropped for a loss by Trey Henry III. Oh, my goodness. That's his third tackle for a loss of his career. They offer you tomorrow too, Noah. Nice. Barrett Fuller out for the game. Bears 0 for 3 on third downs. This is a long one. Third 14. And oh my goodness, that was almost picked off. Davis having a rough game. 2 of 6, 13 yards, and 2 interceptions. You see Davis with 6-point underdogs? <laughs> Not today, my friend. Not today. 
Noah, you are the closest guess. Caleb Chubb has had 83 career tackles coming into this game. 53 for a loss. He now has 54 with that last one. Jaquan Brown returns this punt up to the 42-yard line. Yeah, any of you EFL guys looking for somebody for your front seven on your defense, you're going to want to draft Caleb Chubb. If he doesn't go in the top ten, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you guys. He's going to be a monster. Second down and eight now for the Aggies. You've watched a lot of Caleb Chubb. Yeah, he. <laughs> there's plenty of him to watch, that's for sure. Owen Black under center. Sam Gatlin to the right side at receiver. And they're going to hand this off. Tyree Taylor breaks a tackle and picks up three or four. Third down and five for UC Davis. If I was them, I would just be content with just keep running the football, keep that clock churning. You got a two-score lead. The Bears offense has done nothing. Black looking to throw it, and he's going to try to take off, and smartly just holds on to it. Takes a sack, and they're going to punt it away, but that's going to drain another 25 seconds off the clock. No body shaming. <laughs> I'm just saying, he's a big man. Come on, man. You're already a first-round talent as a freshman. Whoa, pump the brakes, young one. Pump the brakes. It ain't all about stats, man. Especially with all the owners in the Discord and in the chats. Watching everything you do. And here's the return for Tyler Rocky. Gets it up to the 17-yard line. Now, can the Bears <laughs> get something going on offense tonight? Davis has had a great season, but tonight, just two interceptions, 13 yards passing. He has struggled. Came into the game with 12 touchdowns, four picks, and Davis is going to be dropped for a loss. Again, it's Caleb Chubb. He now has 55, three attackers for a loss. I'd rather see Jacksonville win with you getting no carries than you than you losing and you getting 300 yards. <laughs> it's a good mentality, man. Those 300 yards don't matter if you lose the game. Davis in the shotgun, and they're going to go option here. Pitches it out. Darius Mitchell, first down and more. Look out. He is fast. All the way to the 40-yard line. Best play of the night, hands down, for the Bears. Mitchell, over 2,300 career rushing yards for Northern Colorado. 20 touchdowns. But the biggest glaring stat for Mitchell, 17 fumbles in his career. 17. And he is a senior, so he'll be in the EFL next season. Davis in the shotgun again. Go option once again. Tyler Rocky gets it and he'll get a yard, maybe two. Aiden Davis injured his hand on the play, so we're gonna see a lot of Darrell stats that could actually be a game changer here. There's they seem to be running a lot of options and a lot of pass plays where the quarterback gets out on the move, and that is especially for uh, Darrell stats. That's that's his bread and butter. Second down and eight, shotgun set again. Caleb Chubb. In the zone, look out. And Stats will keep it himself, and he somehow gets away, and Caleb Chubb <laughs> says, no, 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 my friend. Take a seat. So he got away from Andrew Jackson, and it's just there's too much talent on this defense. All right, third down and 16 for Darrell Stats. He's got five receivers, and he's going to chuck it deep. And it's intercepted. Trey Henry III has it. That's his 17th of his career. Doesn't matter what quarterback they have in there tonight, the Bears can do nothing right. Trey out here flexing on him. And they had so much pressure. 
Demarcus Webb, Caleb Chubb all got through. All right, just keep pounding the rock if you're the Aggies. Keep the clock moving. No need to force anything. I formation set for black. And they will hand it off to Lozano on the counter. That's a face mask on Lozano. By Ace White, former Discord player. She left us. First down and five after the penalty. Black under center with two tight ends. Nicholas Warner, the tight end at the bottom of the screen. And they're going to hand it off up the middle. Wyatt Geddes runs the man smooth over and gets it up to the 46 or 47 yard line. Oh my goodness. Geddes has had some pretty good runs here tonight. Who left us? Ace White. She's the middle linebacker from Northern Colorado. She left the Discord a while back. She's one of our two female players as this pass is caught by McKinley, the backup tight end, and he gets the first down inside the 40-yard line. What's with the Cal Poly hate? Uh, a lot of people just don't like their offense, man. Aiden Davis out for the game with a sprained wrist. We're going to see Darrell stats for the rest of this third quarter and the fourth. High formation set for the Aggies. And they're going to hand this off to Lozano, and he gets upended. Oh, my goodness. Look at the time of possession. Over 11 minutes for UC Davis, just five minutes for Northern Colorado. Probably scared her off with Clap Cheeks. No, this, <laughs> this is well before the Clap Cheeks channel. Come on now. Single back set, two tight ends to the left. And they're going to hand it off again. Tyree Taylor gets into the open field, breaks a tackle from Deacon Cooper, and dragged down inside the 20-yard line. What a run. Not many people can just walk up to Deacon Cooper and just smack him in the face and knock him to the ground like that. Let's kick another 50-yarder while well, you're... You're a little farther in than, than a 50-yarder right now. This would be a 37-yarder. But you're going to score probably. Probably a touchdown with Tyreek Taylor, who's in the zone at halfback. Oh, they're going to throw it. Owen Black, wide open. Nicholas Warner, every single catch this young man has made is a first down, and he gets his first career touchdown. Let's go. What a run after the catch by Nicholas Warner. Sit down, son. Get out the way. Owen Black with his 39th career touchdown pass. And the Aggies are about to take a three-score lead over the Bears. Big D, Nick. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Green on for the extra point. That run after the catch was just phenomenal. Put it on the highlight reel. Green on for the kickoff. This is the man that could have made a 90-yard field goal earlier. Ed Fredrickson in the chat. What's going on, Ed? How you doing, bud? If you guys haven't already, please slap the like button on the video. Helps us get recommended to people not subscribed to the channel. All right, Darrell Stacks, can he lead his team to a nice little comeback victory over the Aggies? He's going to actually need to complete a pass, though. That would definitely help his cause. Crowd going crazy here in Davis, California. Stats going to go read option. He fumbles the football, and it's going to be recovered by Caleb Chubb. 
Oh my goodness. No, it was Andrew Jackson who recovered it. When it rains, it pours. Oh my goodness. They're going to give Zachary Hyde the credit for the forced fumble. That's going to be just his second career forced fumble. He's more of an interception guy. Ten in his career. Super secret guard in the chat. What's going on? How you doing? This season has been crazy, especially last week. Yes, sir. A lot of craziness. Lots of it. Especially this game. This game is just bonkers. Northern, Northern Colorado can't do anything. And here's a handoff to Lozano. He's going to fumble it. Oh, my goodness. And it was recovered by the Aggies offense here. I don't know who got it, but they do retain possession. Should be undefeated. Yeah, unfortunately, <laughs> we had to play J.J. Barber and Alabama a &M. That was That was a rough game. Second down and nine. And they're going to hand it off again here. Lozano picks up a yard, and that will probably be the final play of the third quarter, guys. Aggies on top, 17 to nothing here in front of their home crowd in Pac-10 action. Get your fours up in the chat. I am doing all right tonight, Super Secret Garden. I am doing all right. Black looking to throw it again here. He's going to take a shot towards the end zone. Almost picked off. Oh, my goodness. Not sure why they threw that, but they are going to attempt another field goal here. This will be a 35-yard attempt for Green. Field goal is up, and Green boots it through the uprights, and it's now 20 to nothing. Bears still looking for something to go their way. After 20 consecutive correct pickums, you picked the wrong school. Feels bad, Jay. <laughs> Feels real bad, man. To return oh my goodness what a kick this guy has just oh my goodness I don't even know what to say like his leg is just ridiculous statement game possibly not completely out of reach no you just need three touchdowns by an offense that has done little to nothing tonight Darrell stats in the shotgun and they're gonna go read option Darrell stats look out picks up five or six yards Zach Pryor on the tackle Pryor also left the Discord. Feels bad. All right, second down of five. Andrew Jackson in the zone at defensive end. Here's a carry for Darius Mitchell. And there's a flag for clipping. That's going to come back. Not subscriber. Linemen out here blocking people in the back. That'll bring up second down and 17. They just keep going backwards. Yes, you're captain, Noah. <laughs> you're gonna have to find him, man. Tell him to get back in there. Andrew Jackson in the zone still at the top of the screen. Stats and somehow completes that pass. Oh my goodness. Just 30 yards of offense after averaging 564 coming into this ball game. Do we have coach contracts on? Um, I, I believe so. I don't know if you can even turn those off. It's been so long since this series started, I can't even remember. Third down and 11 for the Bears. Darren Van Baren cannot hear the play as the crowd goes wild. And stats towards the bottom of the screen. That's going to be a catch for, I believe that was Howard Bresnagale. But he gets little to nothing on the play. Fourth down and nine, and they're just going to send on the punting unit. Johnny Ligurski, three punts tonight. 48-yard average, which is just a little bit better than his career average of 
There's, a, there's an upside for the Bears. And here's another good punt. My goodness. And this is going to be returned, though. Jaquan Brown, he fumbles the football. He recovers it himself after he hurdles a man. If he didn't fumble right there, he probably could have scored. Luckily, he recovered that himself. Nice return up to the 46-yard line. Tyreek Taylor picks up a couple yards. They're just going to keep pounding the rock, run the clock out, try to get out of here with no injuries. That's the last thing you want to see is, you know, you're winning 20 to nothing. <laughs> One of your star players gets hurt with four minutes left in the game. High formation set. Lozano jukes, and he gets into the secondary. Deacon Cooper brings him down at the 40-yard line, and Lozano reaches the century mark for the season. the career rushing yard leader for the Aggies. About 2,400 yards in his career. Shotgun set now. And Black going to go quarterback, um, quarterback draw and get stuffed to the line of scrimmage. Simpson, another freshman linebacker that is available for customization for anybody that does not have a player already. Just join our lovely Discord community today. You can be on the field in week eight. Second down and 11. I formation set. Lozano at halfback. Tyreek the Freak Taylor at fullback. Black's going to hand it off to Tyreek. And he gets into the secondary and he meets a brick wall. Bully Cooper. Oh my goodness. Oh, and just stares him down at the end of that. Oh, my God. Third down and three upcoming for UC Davis. Wish you could edit players on creative teams outside of Dynasty? You can. What's the best backfield in the nation? Oh, that's a tough question, man. There's so many good running backs. I don't know, probably uh, Savannah State's. Here's Owen Black. He's going to have the first down. Nice spin move up inside the 25-yard line. 106 yards up the gut tonight for the Aggies rushing attack. Yeah, you could definitely edit players on creative teams outside of Dynasty. That's, that's, that's how we got all these players on the teams before the series started. No, I think Savannah State has probably the best backfield in the country. You got MJ Gator Jr., Rocky Clearwater, you got Zane Roebuck, and here's Tyreek Taylor gets a first down inside the 10 yard line. First and goal for UC Davis. Yeah, to edit the rosters for created schools, you just got to go into the rosters and scroll over to your team. Bully Cooper is in the zone at a strong safety. Owen Black in the shotgun. Let's see what he does here. And he's going to throw it to the end zone. Sam Gatlin comes down with a jump ball. Oh my goodness. He beats Angel Hernandez. <laughs> oh my goodness. 40 touchdown passes in the career of Owen Black. Sam Gatlin brings in his eighth of his career. Yeah, Dayton is pretty talented at halfback as well. Sonny Six, Smash Jackson, Jared Brody. Oh, my goodness. Extra point is up and good for UC Davis. It's 27 to nothing here in Davis, California in Pac-10 action.
Starting to think the sliders might be why these computer versus computer games have been so one-sided. Well, there's nothing I can really do with the sliders. Oh my goodness, what a kick. Nine yards deep in the end zone. Look at the time of possession. Over 15 minutes for the Aggies. Just 6.46 for the Bears. Best secondary in the nation? Oh man, that's another good question. I'm about to think on that. Jacksonville's got a really good secondary. Um, let's see, Savannah State has a good secondary. And Darrell Stats got nothing on that carry. Fantastic. Keep it on the ground again. Stats pitches it out to Double Stack Rivers, who breaks a tackle, and he's brought down by Zachary Hyde. Makes a third down of three, just 18 yards on the ground tonight for the Bears after averaging 225 per game. Best freshman in the nation. Another good question. Players of the game: Zach Pryor and Bully Cooper. Nine tackles for Bully Cooper. My goodness gracious, that gives him. 193 for his career. And the Bears do not get the first down. Zachary Hyde on the stop. And they're just going to punt it away. They definitely have just conceded defeat here. Johnny Ligurski just boots it as far as possible. Jaquan Brown on the return. Up to the 24-yard line, and there are the chants. Goal line set for the Aggies. And they're going to hand this off to Tyreek Taylor, and he's going to pick up five yards. Owen, there is no such thing as the Pac-12 in this series. Boom, gotcha, roasted. What's up? Ed, are you in the Discord? If you are, I will let you know after this game how to do it. Final play of the game, second down and five for UC Davis. They're going to hand it off up the gut, Tyreek Taylor. Breaking tackles left and right. Angel Hernandez finally brings him down. There's a chance again. Taylor, 109 yards on 19 carries tonight. And that'll do it, folks. UC Davis thumps the Bears of Northern Colorado 27 to nothing in front of an almost sellout home, uh, home crowd. My goodness. All right, Ed, I will let you know after the stream, my friend. Step-by-step -step process for you. Big-time win for UC Davis, 18th-ranked team in the land, beating the 11th-ranked Northern Colorado Bears. Let's take a look at the stats, shall we? Just 42 yards of offense, three first downs for the Bears. Yep, that happened. I'm like, 0 for 7 on third down. Bruh, what do you mean? Four turnovers. I mean, at least the punters were good, right? The punters were really good. Special teams was on point. No penalties for the Aggies. Almost 16 and a half minutes time of possession. Get out of here. That's unreal. Another super chat from Joshua Williams. Good old Zeus Williams for the Aggies. Appreciate you, buddy. As always, appreciate you stopping by the stream, my friend. Let me put my notebook down because it's about to fall. Awesome. And we'll look at the losing team first. They're all stats. Two of three. Eight yards. Goat status. Three interceptions together. Oh, my goodness. I don't even want to look at any of this right now. What is this? One rush for Darius Mitchell. 23 yards. Give the guy the football. What are you doing? Noah with the super chat. I love you. Matching any Aggie super chats. You guys are the best. 
Welcome to UC Davis, where win streaks come to die. Relax, all right? It was a four-game win streak for the Bears. <laughs> Probably the longest that they've ever had in the series. Cooper Brothers with 18 combined tackles from those safety spots. You gotta love it. I would say good game, but it was so one-sided. Just a little bit. A couple sacks for the defense. Interception for Jimmy Fellows. Another freshman available for customization. Couple forced fumbles. Bully Cooper with his 14th of his career. Fumble recovered by Matt McNeil, another freshman. No field goals or extra points. Ligurski, five punts. 47 and a half yard average. 45.3 net average. That's that's really good. All right, the winning team, Owen Black, 7 11, 91 yards, two touchdowns, one pick. In the red zone, of course. Taylor, 109 yards. Lozano, 51 and a touchdown. Geddes with 32, Black with 24. Lots of broken tackles tonight. Eight for Taylor, five for Lozano, one for Geddes, one for Black. Touchdowns for Nicholas Warner, first of his career. Every single time he has caught a pass, it has been for a first down or a touchdown. That's unreal. Sam Gatlin with a touchdown. Just two catches for him, 14 yards. McKinley with uh, two catches. Owens. Jaquan Brown did not have a single reception tonight. All right, Hunsberger led the team in tackles with five. Okay, I see you, freshman. There's the best freshman right there. That, that's going to answer your question, Harris. I got you. Just because you wanted the answer to be, you know, a certain someone. <laughs> you know. Bunch of tackles for a loss. Caleb Chubb, just 56 career tackles for a loss. Get out of here. Gets a sack. Elijah Christian with a sack. Two picks for Pryor, one for Henry. One pass deflection for Everett Garrison. Fumble recovery for Andrew Jackson. They actually did not give Zachary Hyde that forced fumble. That just that hurts my heart. Dave Green, true freshman kicker, available for customization. He can make a 90-yard field goal. Do it, someone. Six kickoffs, four touchbacks. That guy is going to be a first-round pick in the EFL eventually. My goodness. Yeah, that's right, a first-round kicker. A Tom Schaefer will do it. I bet he will. All right, that's it for the stats, guys. Let's take a look at the players of the game. Bully Cooper, Griffin, McNeil. Injury tonight was Aiden Davis. Players of the game for the Yankees. Pryor, Green, and Nicholas Warner get some recognition. Our next game, Wofford travels to take on the 14th-ranked North Dakota State Bison. That one will be tomorrow during the day. I'm not sure what time. Probably around noon-ish Eastern Standard Time, maybe. I don't know. I'll let you guys know in the Discord. Uh, I always let you guys know. But let's see. Who else we got in the chat? What's going on here? Fonnie Williams, you're late. It's all good, man. I appreciate you stopping by, as always. And if you guys have not already, please slap the like button on the stream. Subscribe if you're new. And join that lovely Discord community. That is it for me tonight, guys. I'll see you in the Discord. And I'll see you tomorrow with our North Dakota State Bison taking on the Wofford Terriers. Take it easy, guys.